This is a story not yet told. It begins on a warm evening some years hence, when high on a mountaintop in Southern California, a giant telescope searches the heavens for the secrets there contained. You can't see it with the naked eye, but the micrometer shows it clearly. There's no question of the change in altitude. Hello, Chris. Hello, Linda. Hello, Doctor. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Uh, they certainly tuck you in up here. They wouldn't even let us into the viewing room. They've classified the sky top secret now. <laughs> uh, Lewis. I asked Elder to develop these as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Bolting. This is Chris Cronin, Mrs. Cronin. My assistant, Dr. Bolting. Hello, how do you do? How do you do? It's nice meeting you. Well. I hope you don't mind my tagging along. Oh, not in the least. We're very happy to have you. May I take your coat? You know, I expected you to be older. You are the radio man. Mm -hmm. If you think of yourself as the guy with the spyglass. <laughs> <laughs> I really walked right into that. I didn't mean it quite as it sounded. But do you seriously believe that you've established contact with Mars? Well, you take pictures of it. Why shouldn't I talk to it? Bolte! Yes. There's no question they have diminished in size. There's no knowing what tonight's pictures may show. We may learn more about Mars in the next few minutes. So that's the baby in person. It's so clear, it's unbelievable. This is the first picture. We took it a week ago tonight. See, here are the indentations I told you about. They couldn't be plainer. And all going from north to south. What are they? Canals, what else? Traversing the entire planet. And these big shadows, here and here. Now you know how New York or Chicago would look if photographed from Mars. Now look at those mountains at the pole. They must be as high as the Rockies. How do you tell they're mountains? There have to be. What else would throw such deep shadows? Dr. Mitchell, what puzzles me is that you've had the giant telescope for years. Why are you just getting these pictures now? Mars's journey around the sun is an elliptical curve. Uh, let me show you. It's now at perihelion, about 35 million miles from Earth, instead of the usual 63. Now, what's this one? Same angle, same exposure five nights ago. See any difference? Should I? Well, what have you got? I don't know. I can't believe it. Well. The mountains are gone, and the poles are level. You can't wipe out mountains taller than the Rockies in the space of a week. Bolting. Uh, look at the canals. They're different. Now they reflect light like mirrors. Water reflects light. Well, so does any other. Are you saying you think those pole formations are ice? And that in, in, a, in a week, these Martians have, have melted ice caps thousands of feet high and used the water to irrigate the planet? Isn't that what the picture says? That's impossible. There's no way to. Oh, there has to be. Why, well, they've done it. We could just once ask them how. I thought you'd already established contact. Oh, it's Mars I'm getting my signal from right enough, but how do I get that signal meaning? How do I find a means of communication? Come on, Lynn, let's get going. There's still time to send a signal. You're going to broadcast tonight? After seeing these? <laughs> what do you think? One man who takes pictures? Another who believes he can talk over 35 million miles. It's like having a grandstand seat for the creation of the world. Or it's death. <laughs>